Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the Apple Music app on iOS 14. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. Now going into the Apple Music app, you're going to see that the tabs at the bottom are much different. So now you're going to see that you have the Listen Now. Uh, when you first go into it, you have the Listen Now tab there. You have the Browse, you have the Radio and the Library and Search. When you first go into it, it's going to tell you your heavy rotation and just track how you listen to your music and develop algorithms based off of it. And then you're going to see they have some stations for you. You're going to see your recently played. You have your favorites mix. Uh, so you can uh, take a look at all these different mixes that are made for you. You're going to see which genres you've been listening to. Uh, it tells you a song to listen now uh, based off an artist as well. Uh, you can see new releases. You can see a playlist based on your music genres you've been listening to. You also have some other moods and you can see it just keep scrolling down and down uh, that there's so much music to listen to. And now you can see we're finally at the bottom. So you can see that there's just a lot of customized playlists, a lot of good algorithms that Apple made. And Apple really did uh, try their best to uh, improve Apple Music, and it's clearly showing. Now we can go to browse and when we go to browse, it's just a basic section to browse uh, all the new music. So we can see all these different curated playlists of all these different music uh, that include new release and much more. So you can see that it just curates based on the day, based on certain holidays, based on uh, fitness by mood. So it has some similarities to Spotify in terms of the algorithm. And that's why Apple has been making some strategic acquisitions of smaller companies in order to make Apple music better. Uh, so that is very interesting. Uh, now we can go to radio and under radio we have the current beats one radio then you have some other curated radio playlists as well so that's really good uh, and it's just the normal radio section here and then we can just scroll down to see the schedule and then you can see they have the schedule for all the beats one's hosts and then you have the local radio implemented within apple music as well so that's definitely good we do have our library so you have our playlist artists albums songs music video genres compilations and more uh, so you have a chance to edit all of those so we can uh, get rid of them if we want uh, but we just have all of our songs here as you can take a look at some of our songs and it's just really easy uh, to take a look at so if we do play a song you can see this is what it looks like so we have the lyrics right here and then you can see uh, that we have the album artwork so it pretty much looks the same but there is a tab right at the top to just uh, bring it down so that's really interesting now we can go to search and when we search for a song, you can see this is what it looks like. So we have the a particular song right here, and then you can see it's kind of highlighted. We have the top results, artists, uh, albums, songs, playlists, radio shows, uh, and then we have radio episodes, stations, music videos, video extras, categories, curators, and profiles. So we have all those different options. So you can see that's really interesting. Then we can search for songs on Apple Music or on your library. So it's a really curated search. And I really like the algorithms that have been implemented in order to make the Apple Music app a lot better. Going back to the Apple Music app on my iPhone, it's very relevant with all the songs that it has and I always find some new music. So that's why I really like it. And it's just uh, trying to become a better competitor to its rival, Spotify. So that is the Apple Music app on iOS 14. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button as well. Be sure to check out all the other videos on my channel. Be sure to follow me on all the social media platforms of Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, my username there is AppCritics. And once again, subscribe for more great content. And thanks for watching.